all my beautiful bingers and the Saturday 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 Good. We are watching Legally Blonde. You guys have spammed my comment section like crazy saying y'all wanted to see me watch this. I don't have the slightest clue what this is about. So before y'all go, Billy, just Google it. You should read the synopsis. I want y'all to know that quite a big group of people have told me they'd rather me go into it blind. They prefer it that way. So if you are new and you don't understand that, I just want you to hear it from me personally when I tell you to shut up. Shut up, okay? Okay, all right? Because for whatever reason, y'all still gonna put it in my comment section anyways, but I just wanted to make sure that you heard me tell you personally. Just shut up and nobody cares, all right? Shout out to everybody that's currently watching this premiere. How you doing? How you looking? How you smelling? I hope you looking, doing, and smelling great. I appreciate you all for being here. If you wanna be a part of the live stream fun, make sure that you turn on the post notifications for this channel. If you have it turned on and YouTube isn't sending out the notification, unsubscribe and subscribe again, all right? Because for whatever reason, sometimes it goes through, sometimes it doesn't, but when you unsubscribe and subscribe again and turn it on, you'll get the notification then and I was told according to my analytics 80% of y'all are not subscribed so I need you to check right now and make sure that you're subscribed right but anyways we're not gonna do too much talking if you would like to leave me a movie suggestion use that hashtag bingers in the comment section right now do not put it in the live stream chat put it in the comment section and whatever got the most top votes or whatever that'll probably it'll get done soon all right but anyways enough of the talking let's get into legally blonde oh hold on we start off with a bop already okay all right what we doing Yo, my bad, y'all. Sometimes when I get excited, I be yelling. I just happened to rewatch one of my videos and I was like, yo, I really do be yelling. I, I can't help when I get excited, I start yelling. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did they really cheer her on for riding on a bicycle? <laughs> for real? I tell you what though, she got perfect posture riding that bicycle. I ain't never seen nobody ride a bike so stiff. Why is she walking like a model? Alan Warner forever. <laughs> It's so cute. Okay, so Warner must be her boyfriend, I'm assuming. All right, I wonder what Warner got going on. Something tells me he's gonna be a trash boyfriend. Early prediction. I think you should go with the red. It's the color of confidence. Oh, red is the color of confidence? I guess I'm right where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> There's nothing I love more than a dumb blonde. Wow, she called her a dumb blonde with daddy's plastic? It's impossible to use a half loop top stitching on low viscosity rayon. It would snag the fabric. Oh, she stunned on her. If you're trying to sell it to me for full price, you picked the wrong girl. Check mate. That's what you get for stereotyping people. Yo, bum. In a few hours, I'll be the future Mrs. Warner Huntington III. Okay, so he's not gonna propose. I can see that. He's not gonna propose. Um, okay, zero sugar Tom Cruise. Yuck. They kiss like two plastic forks. Yo, shout out to her whole squad. They make sure she was right. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, she is ready to say yes. <laughs> I wanted to come here tonight was to discuss our future. Uh oh, he's gonna break up with her. He's gonna break up with her. If I'm gonna be a senator by the time I'm 30, I need to stop dicking around. Uh-oh, that's the, oh boy, oh boy. Here it comes. L. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear, that's how you know some bull crap is coming. I think I we do. should break up. I told y'all, I told y'all. What? Oh, she's about to have a BF. Well, I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. <laughs> oh, he's, what? Wow. So when you said that you would always love me, you were just dicking around? No, he just wanted to give you the dick. That's all it was. And he just got engaged to a Vanderbilt for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> you see his face? You did this to yourself. Why'd you even take her out to dinner anyways? You should have sat her in the car and just been like, check this out. We had a good time, but um. Sweetie. Boo Bear? He gonna still try to call her pet names. That's how you know he's still trying to smash. Oh man, she looks a mess. I don't believe me, I never expected to do this. He 100% expected to do that. He knew he was gonna do that. Everybody likes me. Well, East Coast people are different. I don't even know what that means. I'm seriously in love with you. Isn't that enough? Not for him. Pooh Bear. Why do you keep calling this girl Pooh Bear? Bruh, just call her by her name. You already broke up with her. That's how you know. He's still trying to make her that late night booty call. I give it to him. You know, he sat her down at the table and looked her dead in the face and was like, I think we should break up. I give him that. But all this like sweet nothings he's still trying to fill her up with, like, come on, you're doing too much. If you're gonna keep it a buck, keep it a buck. So is this why she calls herself legally blonde? Because her funny looking boyfriend broke up with her? Or because she's a blonde? Is she playing a thousand, for real? 
Look, that just goes to show, chocolate solves every problem. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, this is like, what, the third movie? It's not me, it's, it's the movies. The one thing that always makes us feel better no matter what. Shopping? Oh, manicures. She had eight grilled cheese sandwiches. She just stuffed them in her mouth. Hey, eight grilled cheese sandwiches? That's a lot of cheese to consume. I would have been so constipated. <laughs> I know you're like Billy, that's TMI. I'm sorry. They talked about it. Wait, and she talking mess in a whole nother language? No. A law student. Oh, that's where the legally she's going to law school. <laughs> I get it now. Okay. Going to Harvard is the only way I'm gonna get the love of my life back. Wait, you're only going to Harvard to get low calorie Tom Cruise? Are you for real? Your major is fashion merchandising. She said that doesn't matter here. Excellent recommendations from your professors and a heck of an admissions essay. That's where they would have lost me, an essay? I mean, I can talk an essay all day long. Y'all know I ain't got no problem with talking. But when it comes to writing one, nah. Travelism, I have a really high it's metabolism. metabolism. Ma metabolism, that's what she was trying to say? I can't really knock her because words are hard. I ain't gonna hold you. I be struggling with words all the time. Reading about the LSAT? Apparently you get a really bad rash on your- What is she talking about? Oh, so I'm going to Harvard Law School. Why? They're like, we don't do that here. What are you talking about? I know you're upset about all this, but can't you just take a Percocet? Oh, a Percocet? That's your advice? It's a completely brilliant plan. It's really not. You should just let that funny looking boy go. You passed Spanish because you gave Professor Montoya a lap dance after the final. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She did what? Oh, hi. Oh, you can do video essays? Oh, I would have had that. She doing it in a hot tub for Harvard? You know what happened on Days of Our Lives yesterday? I do. That is hilarious. Oh, that is hilarious. 143. What is the score that you need to pass the LSAT anyways? I don't know anything about it. And before you say Google it, shut up. <laughs> Honestly, I think she's pretty smart because I don't think I would have been able to pass that test. I'm gonna keep it a whole buck with you. Look at this room for- <laughs> Look at their face! She got a 179 on her LSAT. Bro ain't blinked now one time. She was in a Ricky Martin- Bro still hasn't blinked yet. She's a friend to the animals as well as a philanthropist. He's looking like, are y'all for real right now? Welcome to Harvard. Oh, what well, he already- Well, there it is. Hey! And together is much better. We're together forever and now. The fact that she's going through all this for a boy that she's probably not even gonna want by the end of this movie, I'm already exhausted. Hey Brad, check out Malibu Barbie. Where's the beach, honey? <laughs> he asked her, where's the beach? Yeah, the I like the way she walks. He said, I like the way she walks. I told y'all, man, I, I love me a woman that can walk. And I mean that in the non-creepiest way possible because y'all be trying to make straight guys sound like creep for finding women attractive. <laughs> You know, mixers, formals, clam bakes, trips to the Cape. Trips to the where? You know, maybe you should check with the cruise director on the Lido deck. Oh, that's hilarious. Part where we go around in a circle. Bro, are they? What's going on here? Are they okay? Let's start with you. He looks like he ain't slept in days. And oh my goodness, he looks like the scariest live action human doll. I don't even know. Deworming orphans in Somalia. Bro, is he a real person? He looks like a robot. This, I, I don't know. And we're both Gemini vegetarians. Wait. What? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> she said Gemini vegetarian? Yo, and for those that keep asking what my zodiac sign is, because I've been seeing that a lot in my comment section, just so y'all know, I am an Aries, all right? So y'all can stop asking me what my birthday is. I don't know about the rising moons and all that stuff, but I am an Aries. There, can you tell? L? Oh my gosh, I can't believe we ran into each other. Here? Of all places, wow. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? <laughs> what, like it's hard? She should have known by his face that he really didn't think that much of her. He looks like, wow, you of all people are here? Really? Bro really thinks she's an airhead, 100%. You will be taught to achieve insight into the world around Oh, I thought she was gonna pull out her cell phone. Bro, we need to get him checked out. I'm, I'm really worried and concerned for him. Yes? He looks dead inside. What about? Oh. His. That, why you have to hit him with the, for real? Well, I recommend knowing before speaking. That's how you feel about me when I do my movie commentaries. It ain't gonna happen though, but thank you. And to return only when she is prepared? 
Absolutely. Is everybody dead in this school? What is going on here? I understand you went law school, but for real? Ain't nobody got no personality. Maybe that's the reason why some people don't like watching my videos. I get it, because I got too much personality for you. I, I get it, it makes sense. <laughs> uh oh, she is pissed. <laughs> you have Stromwell, huh? Yes. Did she do that to you too? No. He's like, no, actually I came to school prepared. For Leventhal, you know, make sure you read the footnotes because that's where he gets a lot of his exams. He's a professor, he has to be. Hi Warner. Hi, uh... Oh, here come this phony. I didn't even recognize him. Horrible preppy girl who tried to make me look bad in front of the professor, but no biggie. I like her energy, though. She just kind of lets stuff just shrug off. She's just like, hey, life goes on. Hey. <laughs> Second player has entered the chat. Do you know her? She's, uh... I'm his fiance. You put... What? Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just listened. I didn't even see that coming. What? You're famous. At our club. That's why she had it in for you. She knew about you. Oh! Oh! The setup was perfect! Damn, girl, you drive a foreign too? Goodness gracious. Bad day. Dang, she's making them donuts look fire. He's engaged. She's got the six carat Harry Winston on her bony, unpolished. She said her finger was bony and unpolished. <laughs> So what's this Vivian got that you don't have? Her man or her ex-man. She could use some mascara and some serious highlights, but... Unfortunate looking? That is a very interesting way to say ugly. Good. See you later. Oh, he gave that extra look. Bro, why don't you go talk to her? What are you waiting for? Steal the bastard back. I don't even think she really has to steal because he actually wants to be with her. He's more worried about his image though because the way he lit up when she came around, like there's still something there for. Malum inse or malum prohibitum? I would rather have a client who's innocent. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't see nothing wrong with that answer. <laughs> I don't see a problem with it, honestly. Maybe that's why I'm not in law school. Well done, Miss Kensington. You've obviously- Oh, she flexed on her. Oh, she flexed on her. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'd pick the dangerous one. Because I'm not afraid of a challenge. Let her know. What's up? Meet me after the class so I can make you malnourished. That's a mal word that I know. I don't think it fits, but it works right now. I'm frustrated. <laughs> okay, why y'all standing around like I ain't never seen a girl before, though? And look, I brought sustenance. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Our group is full. Uh uh, don't be answering for the group. I would be like, give me a muffin, girl. Forget her. Come on, guys, we can make room for one more. Ow. Bro, you are a punk. On every level, you are a punk. And that's why Vivian don't respect you anyways. Voted against me and then called me a behind my back. You must have heard it from Vivian. Because that's probably where you would have heard it from. And she probably would have said it to your face anyway. I got bangs. Oh, I thought she said I got banged. Ooh, what I was about to say, I hope she talk about the energy drink. Jesus. Because I'm getting married. Girl, you also paying for that dress, playing around. But it's a costume party, you probably wouldn't want to come. Man, don't tell me what I probably don't want to do. True, ask me first so I can tell you no. It's not a costume party. It's, it's gonna be a regular party. She's gonna be the only one dressed up. Yeah, you better own it now, you ain't got no choice. <laughs> But she looked fire in it though, so I, hey, do your thing, girl. <laughs> when I dress up as a frigid bitch, I try not to look. Oh! <laughs> Let her know! Let her know! You've got the ring, sweetie. Not for long. Well, don't you look like a walking felony? Thank you, you're so sweet. He says she looks like a walking felony? Is that a good line? You know, I feel like we barely get to- Uh-uh, look where his hands went. You, uh, come on, boy, you got a girl in another room. You're not smart enough, sweetie. Oh, you, he really told her this. All right, so low-calorie Jesus keep popping up. So that's gonna be the love interest by the end of this movie. They gonna be the ones that get married. She gonna make you pay for your words, chump. I really don't know how I feel about the fact that she's only doing this because of his big-headed self. I really wish that it was just because she wanted to do it, but, you know, hey. Or at least a dude that was actually worth it. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all gonna be like, Billy, there's no guy worth it. I know. I know y'all gonna put it in the comment section. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know y'all gonna do it. What is he in there doing? Come here and show me what I'm definitely not missing. <laughs> Did he say definitely not missing? Bro, she ain't missing nothing with you. You are a mess. I'm Elle Woods, Miss Bonifante's attorney. Oh, snap, look at she about to get into her bag. Do you understand what subject matter jurisdiction is? No. He don't understand the word clean, so I know he doesn't understand that. Tell him, Paulette. Yeah, come on, Paulette, say it with your chest, too. Don't do all that stuttering stuff you just did a second ago. Taking the dog. 
dumbass. Let's go. Come on. Still scratching his head. Yeah, which must be a nice vacation for his balls. She really said that. For real, for real. I have to wonder if the defendant kept a thorough record of- Come on, that's what I'm talking about. Refute his opposition. Why now? Why this sperm? Yeah. Why not? Does the funny looking boy have an answer? Clearly not seeking an egg could be termed reckless abandonment. Oh, you don't have an answer now, huh? They should. Do you have a resume? That's what I'm talking about. Always have it on go, girl. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. What's that? It's your resume. It smells good. Okay, bro, who are you? For real, for real. You always pop it up in back corners of rooms. You popping up at the store. Now, if you ain't her lover, you a serial killer. It's one of the two. One of the two. <laughs> hey, L popped up on the list. Let's go. Remember when we spent those four amazing hours in the hot tub after winter formal? Look at his face. He said, ha, ha. I, I, I don't, I'm just a dumb boy, ha <laughs> So much better than that. <laughs> oh, that was a. Yeah, Warner got his behind right up out of there. You look very nice today, Vivian. That's what I'm talking about. Go out with class, L. Go out with class, girl. In all likelihood, she's completely guilty as well. All right, I see what's gonna happen. She's gonna figure out a way to make her innocent because she might actually be innocent, I don't know. Probably seen him lurking around campus doing my research. Thanks for the introduction. Yeah, because he do be lurking. That's what he do be doing. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. I ain't gonna hold you. When I work out, I be feeling real good after. I do. The rest of the day, I'm like, yee, let's go. That doesn't look so good to a jury. Then show them a picture of his dick. Oh, dang, like that? I've got a package. She like, I bet you do. I'm trying to find out. Come deliver to my house. Oh, he looking deep into her soul. Trust me, Paulette, you have all the equipment. You just need to read the manual. Well, I've never heard that before. You got all the equipment and you need to read the manual? Wow. It has an 83% rate of return on dinner invitation. An 80% return? Called the bend and snap. The bend and snap? What is that? So you bend and snap. <laughs> what? <laughs> I really thought she was gonna show her something that would make me go, yeah, I'm gonna go talk to her, but I would be a little worried. Like this? Good snap. Are they about to start dancing? <laughs> she said. <laughs> Bend and snap works every time. On who? Um, the entire clinic skincare line. Some aromatherapy candles. She hooked her up. She got all the things. I know you helped me go from a six to a four. It's great. She got a bigger secret. She was getting lip injections? I was getting lip reduction. Lip reduction? Liposuction! Liposuction. Oh my goodness, I, oh! My fans knew that I bought it. I would lose everything. That's not okay to just be lying to people like that. You paid for the booty? You paid for it? You got these women thinking that they can work for your booty and you paid for the booty? At least tell them, hey, do my workout and go do this as well. At least do that. But she know that there wasn't no money in that. That's why she had to lie. The wild thing about that is that today you make a lot more money lying to people than you do actually telling them the truth. When you tell people the truth is actually offensive now to tell the truth. There was way more money in lying. That is just like, that's a concept that is so wild to me. Cruz, sisterhood, this is a murder trial, not some scandal. He's like, that's not gonna hold up in a court. They'll probably hire you as a summer associate. Think about yourself. Because that's what he's doing. I gave her my word, Warner. So what? He's like, that means nothing to me. I gave old great paid Vivian my word that I'm a marrier, but honestly, I'm thinking about reconsidering it. Brooke would never tell a woman that she was too fat. And she seems to me like she's hiding. That's because she is hiding something. Yes. Um, we're from Austin. Why they got her wrapped up like a burrito? But my daughter tells me she can be quite the little bitch. Dang, your daughter said that? Well, she did say that they humped like gorillas. Ew, they humped like gorillas. How do you think I'm looking so blonde, you know? I'm not sure you can handle it. You talking about my hair or you? That's what I would have said. Thinking maybe we could go out sometime. No, you're a dork. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all gonna make this man lose it. Why didn't you call me? You see what she about to do right there? She about to make those girls want them. I've already spent too many hours crying over you. That's what it takes. So, when did you want to go out? You see the switch up? You see what I'm talking about? Y'all be like, why do guys take pictures with fish? To show you that I can catch one. <laughs> I know y'all gonna be like, Billy, that's not okay. That's not okay. I know. I can't ever do nothing right on my channel. <laughs> did you know when he first applied? He got waitlisted. This man got waitlisted and he got all this bass in his voice trying to call somebody dumb? <laughs> Hey. Wow, Vivian actually has a little bit of personality. I am shocked. Standing over my father's. Oh, I love her. Oh my goodness, she is so gorgeous. While the Latin boy handed her a drink. What is he drawing? This is the uniform. Yes. 
And he like, I'll do it again. You want y'all want me to put it on right now? I believe you, Brooke. Take care of me, Al. I will. I mean, it's kind of hard to take care of you if I can't tell them the truth. Oh. Now I'm starting to think he just be delivering packages on purpose. <laughs> Uh-oh, she about to do the pop lock and drop it. First of all, she stared at the pin way too long. I would've been like, are you okay? I got it. Oh, oh dang, she done knocked him out. Don't stomp your little last season Prada shoes at me, honey. Uh-oh, she just realized something. He's gay. That's what I thought at first. Warner, what kind of shoes are these? Uh, uh, Warner don't know. Gay men know designers. Straight men don't. That is so true. That is so true. <laughs> I don't got the slightest clue. And how long have you been sleeping with Mrs. Wyndham? Three months. And your boyfriend's name is? Chuck. Got him. Check. Just a friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> you bitch. Oh boy, there go Chuck. There goes Chuck. He was answering them questions way too fast. He wasn't even thinking about it. The donut. Okay. <laughs> Do you need any help? No, I'm fine. Oh, look how civil they can be now. They've come a long way. And on top of that, you gained the client's trust. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. Give her her kudo. She worked for that. How far you'll go together? How far will? Oh, wait, wait a minute. What's going on? I'm a man who knows what he wants. Realized your professor is a pathetic asshole. Thank you, cause for real, like all of that, I thought you was, I thought he was really gonna give her a job and not try to give her the work. Maybe you should sleep with the jury too, then we can win the case. Vivian was just looking for a reason to be mad. She was jealous anyways. So we're trying to be something that I'm just, just not. You wasn't at first, but you became it. Now you are it. You do it better than his associates. He said that correctly. He might've been talking out of lust just to get into your pants, but that wasn't a lie. All right, come on, great value Jesus. Go walk on water and go get your girl. If he doesn't trust me, why should I trust him? You really shouldn't trust him. He thinks you're guilty. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. She never does. She always just, just be talking. Don't be knowing nothing. Callahan hit on her, so she quit. My God. Yeah, look at that egg on your face, Vivian. She look fire in that suit though. Go ahead, girl, shoot. You ain't guilty of nothing in my book. Come on through, L. Come on through, girl. Walk the walk. And he got on some trash shoes. And that suit, my boy. Counselors, approach the bench. For real, because what, what y'all got going on in my courtroom right now? Get this together. Oh, but you agreed last night in your office when we were discussing my- Oh, you, that, yeah, you want to talk about that, player? <sighs> She's like, oh, I got this one in the bag. Case closed. Oh, she pulled up with Johnny Bravo and his broken nose. We came to see your trial. They showed up like this was a concert. When you are Yo, her face, she is disgusted. Did you hear a shot fired? No, I was in the shower. So then what did you hear, little unknowing girl? But you didn't hear Even with her confused look, she is fire. I was washing my hair. Yeah, because washing your hair, it's so loud. <laughs> yeah, what y'all laughing at, huh? Had you ever gotten a perm before? Yes. I mean, if you got a perm, then you know you can't get your hair wet, girl. What you talking about? So then you wouldn't have been washing your hair. Objection. Why is this relevant? Oh, you about to find out real quick. So pretty much, oh, girl was the one that killed her father. Cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours. Come on, somebody. I know a little something. I know a little something. And wouldn't somebody who's had, say, 30 perms before in their life be well aware of this rule? 100% she knows better. And if, in fact, you had heard the gunshot, Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had to- Yo, she looked real guilty. I'm telling y'all, she was the one that did it. I thought it was you walking through the door. <laughs> oh, wow. In the matter of the state versus Brooklyn. Look at that, she won her case. <laughs> Wait, but her hair's still popping though. She might've killed her daddy, but her hair popping. The rules of hair care are simple and finite. Any Cosmo girl would've known. I mean, come on, I'm a Cosmo girl myself, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I take care of mine. <laughs> so brilliant. Oh, uh, look at this phony. I'm about tired of him. You are the girl for me, Pooh Bear. Oh, here you go with this Pooh Bear crap. Waited so long to hear you say that. But if I'm gonna be a partner in a law firm by the time I'm 30... Let's go! Call back! Such a complete bonehead. You blew it! You and Vivian both. Egg on the face. It's enough egg here to make an omelet. Four. Dang, two years later? Always have faith in yourself. Come on, somebody. Congratulations, class of 2004. We did it! She spoke a word up there just then. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead! <laughs> the little Taco Bell dog got his own little hat. Vivian dumped Warner. She and Elle are now best friends. Dang, Warner took a major L. <laughs> oh, they named their kid after L. That's what's up. They've been dating for two years. They ain't married yet. 
Emmett is proposing to L tonight. Okay. Legally Blonde, huh? All right, so that was Legally Blonde, my first time ever watching that movie. Better than I expected, honestly. I really didn't go in with an idea of what this movie was about at all, so that's why y'all kind of see me guessing along the way, but it was a good movie. I actually enjoyed it. I know that there's a Legally Blonde too. so depending on how many comments I get, if y'all want me to do Legally Blonde too, put it in the comment section right now. If you would like to leave me another movie suggestion, make sure you use that hashtag Bingers in the comment section. Like I said, this weekend we are starting the MCU marathon, so it's Thor this Saturday, and then we're going to keep going with Phase 1 and then Phase 2 and so on and so forth so y'all make sure that you are subscribed like i said there is 80 percent of you guys that are not subscribed so check right now to see if you are subscribed shout out to everybody that watched from here i hope you guys are doing looking and smelling great i appreciate you guys for being here this thursday and uh until this saturday i'll see you in my next movie commentary billy binges out